what up? Solar Renekton on the air, back to us more League of Legends. Actually, I'm playing some Yasuo up in the top lane. I got an interesting one. Uh, it's a heart steel build. We got Grasp. We're going to get some HPs. It might be good. We don't know. We're about to find out together, or it's going to be terrible. I'm ready for all outcomes. I took Doran Shield because I kind of feel like I'm going to get bullied in lane by most people. Just got to be careful. He gets level 2 off this minion. They all try and do that like level 2 power spike. Just walk away. Easy peasy. Boom! What up? Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Have a pack scheduled this fall? Well, HelloFresh has you covered. They have over 30 different recipes and 70 plus different convenience items all delivered straight to your door. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code POGRENECTONNOV70 for 70% off plus free shipping on your first box. HelloFresh has a line of kid-friendly recipes for even the pickiest of eaters. Perfect for busy families looking to try something new for the new school year. HelloFresh also offers vegetarian, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. My favorite part about HelloFresh is how fast the meals are to make, okay? We're talking about easy, straightforward instruction recipes that do not leave you questioning and wondering what to do next, okay? I save time and money with HelloFresh. So what are you waiting for? Scroll down, click my link in the video description below and use the code POGRENECTONNOVE70 for 70% off plus free shipping on your first box. Thanks, HelloFresh. Grab that one, E second. Walk up. Whenever they do that stuff where they run out, no, no, no. I'll be freezing the lane. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh, got it. Oh, got it. I'm a beast. Oh, I haven't missed one yet. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Instantly, before I can even finish the sentence, let's go. Is that karma? No. That's Yasuo. This guy's not being very aggressive, which is kind of nice. Hey! See? Now you're seeing my game. I tricked him. Beautiful. Nice little grasp it there. Oh my! Devastating. Ooh. This should be good. He made it here. I'll take W now. Ooh. Shove here. Not too bad. I mean, the W's not going to do anything, but I will need it level 6. Because so I can use it against Riven. Oh. Not Riven O, Riven R. That's like on the main map. Uh, is it even worth hitting? Oh, oh my goodness! I can move. Uh, ooh. uh, this is a problem. You gotta, yeah. The other guy's up here. This wave slow pushes out to us, so I kind of just have to do some of this shit. I'm more defending people than actually doing anything. Oh, I should have killed that ward. Okay. He's out. Echo's out too. This wave slow pushes to me. I lost like two to three minions for it. Oh, Ganon, I love you. I normally complain about how they miss, or not miss a target, but they change their like target every once in a while randomly, even though when things didn't change and they really shouldn't. The way the minions work is they have like a priority list of like what order they attack things in, right? Like if he walks up and auto attacks me, all the minions turn and start hitting him, right? So every so often, I don't know, I forget what the exact timer is, they like recheck. Like, am I attacking the right thing on the priority list? And they'll like re target stuff. That's why you see sometimes melee minions randomly just stop attacking whatever they were hitting and just sprint under a tower. That's when it's like not working correctly, but we want to keep this wave slow pushing to us. It's quite good. Ooh. That should be great. I still have E. This is not great. Oh. Oh my how do you how do you still get baited, Mike? How? I don't know if I can kill him. Alright. 
I'm doing this reverse psychology thing this game, and it's working great. Perfect CS, miss a CS. This guy's not all in, and they're not fighting me. <laughs> he immediately fights me. I don't think I can get this kill. Gets the kill. Beautiful. <laughs> all right, we'll take it. Waves frozen. This is a really, really good spot. How many procs this have I got? Six times. Not bad. We have permanent health every time we do that. And then we're obviously going for the heart steal here. I'm sorry if I didn't mention it. It's probably the thumbnail of the video. But we'll talk about the build now that we got some free time. The, at the bottom. Heart steal, Titanic. Then we're going to get BT. I should probably throw up this. That'll take extra damage. I did a really poor job at managing this wave. You can tell because the next wave is so far away. But do a little trick like that. We fix it all up. I even pop a potion that I still have. Sweet. Let me get level 6. Or I have level 6 before this guy. So I can use that if I won't. Not anymore. He also has an item advantage because I didn't spend my gold. I'm just abusing the wave control advantage I have right now. He's going to third Q in. I just hold this. Okay. Oh. I don't mind this. Oh, eat it. Nice. As long as the melee, or sorry, the ranger outside of tower, this is ideal. Bruh. I actually hit the... Ah! Oh my god. How do we... Alright. Things are getting wild there. They're getting a little spicy. We fixed it though. How do we... Walk forward. Back. Ooh. I have this thing sitting here waiting to be used and I'm like nah I got this let me just all in him with fucking 2,000 gold on me <laughs> all right maybe maybe not the brightest idea but if you're watching this stream or this YouTube channel you already know I'm not the brightest so we should be good on that front you expected that outcome right there as you heard me say, ah, I'm just going to hold this wave and then I'm going to back and TP back and spend my gold. When you heard me say that, you knew I wasn't going to do it. Should be in a decent spot now. We definitely outscale this guy. Let's not try and feed more. <laughs> Throw our lead away for no reason. Beautiful. Ooh. Nice. I'm feeling very strong. Honestly, no way I'm ever gonna land that. <laughs> Let's be real. EQ, maybe. That's like the best idea. Because we can use our E and our Q at the same time. Walked up out of this guy. I could have audited it. I wanted the Q proc. Alright, let's get our ward down. We're still way up in farm on this guy, which is nice, but yeah, that kill was pretty shitty. Ooh, Tiamat. Babe shoves back. Or actually, it's going to be an even one. If I wanted to shove back, I would do something like this. All I have to do is keep it even on his side of the map. Just the fact that it's on his side and the fact that it's going to destroy this one minion before it does anything. Perfect. Now this wave is going to slow push to me. I can use that for two things. Here's the first one, the obvious one. The jungle comes top. Well, guess what? I'm, on, I'm under my tower in a much safer position. I'm already playing back instead of up in the lane. Make it seem like I don't know where he is. Make him waste a bunch of time. Now he's walking all the way around. I have to back up. We can W here. But we're already in a great spot. Imagine the situation if the wave was frozen. I'm just guaranteed to lose all of it and continue to losing all of it. I'm not losing anything. This isn't a stressful spot for me. It would be stressful if I dove, or if they dove me under tower and I died. And then see the thing that he's screwed up on right here is walking away and not forcing this wave completely under tower. Because then I can do stuff like I'm doing right now where I freeze the wave. Oh! Change that range, huh? Yeah, where I freeze it like that and we can look for stuff. I mean, I'm here. Ooh. Oh, 
All right. Uh, honestly, it would have been better if I cleared it. We would have been pushing away and I could have got back in time, but it's all good. I think you can get both of these. Yeah, not the best. Hmm. I guess if we're full committing, I should, oh God. I should just clear as much of it as I can. Auto Q, nice. Yeah, we need a little bit of attack speed with this build, so I got the attack speed here and the attack speed are in here, and then uh, Zerker Greaves as well. Otherwise, our Q is going to be on a, a long cooldown, and it's just going to feel really awkward. If you didn't know, your Q cooldown is based on your attack speed, not your CDR that you build on this champion. That's how it works. Walk here, auto like this. Ooh. Oh, I should be able to get a plate. Uh... I mean, I don't want to fight at all. Okay. <laughs> Let me make that clear. It'd be super ideal if I could wait for this. I have 200 extra gold here, so I only need 1900. I got 16, almost 17 right now. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to push, whether he wants to or not. Just the TM at going to cause the push. Watch what I mean. All, there's all the red minions left there. But I'm not like inclined to do anything. I just sit back and wait. Easy peasy. Man, I really don't want to fight. The only reason I'm here is... Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Unless I hit this knockup. <laughs> yeah, when they dodge themselves to death... He started dodging when I only had two, or my first Q hit. That's why I said I don't think I'm going to do it. Because I only hit Q one time, so I have to cycle to my third one. That doesn't happen very quickly. But he stood there trying to dodge my second one, which I landed and bought time for the third one. Not even that the third one needed to land. He was so low by that point from all the dodging and standing there and not kiting. <laughs> Let's go. Reset, grab this. Oh, oh, just out of range. Nice. Uh, we'll go Titanic next. Uh, oh, long one, long one. Hockey. Might sell this and grab this, huh? Yeah. Let's do it. Should still be good. Bro, you're like hundreds away. He's got ult. Oh, didn't press it in time. That was a greed and a half for that tower. What the hell was that? Okay. So now all we gotta do is stand close to them for three seconds, and then we get the proc. The proc gives us extra damage on the hit. And our hit's also gonna give us permanent health based on how much damage we did. Right now the damage is 267, and we get six or 27 permanent health. Not bad. This guy's in mid, so I wanna push here. Get pressure, punish the rotation for somebody to show up. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna die. All right. <laughs> Yo, it was, it was nice for a bit, dude. We're getting spicy. We got some procs. Let's go. <laughs> I, I mean, I obviously should have left after the Echo walked away. I was just, I don't know, man. I was having fun. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. All right, now we got this. Get a little bit more HP. I mean, obviously I die. And that's stupid. But team gets pressure on mid there. Wipe waves in the tower. Gets pressure on bot. I am forcing three people to come top and kill my stupid ass. But they did, they did, they got me. 
I got some permanent health off of that, honestly. It's not terrible. I gained 111. That ain't bad. You can do it's like times, I think, point, uh, 2.66 or something. I used to know. I mean, you can just divide this out by the gold cost to figure out how much gold per one unit of health. This is worth a lot. Like, an extra 1,100 health is like, you know, almost 300 gold. Pretty good. Same thing with Grasp. 18 uses. That's almost uh, 20. Or, or uh, that's almost 100 health. It's 90 health. You get 5 permanent health per. Not bad. And the nice thing about the Titanic, in addition to doing the cleave thing that it's going to do, it's going to scale all the health we have and give us additional attack damage. Ooh. Uh, I'd kill him if I hit this. Oh, I didn't mean to. I wanted to pause. I actually like this on him a lot. <laughs> it's pretty fun. If they get overextended in this lane, I can definitely kill them. Uh, top has Ignite on TP. Hmm. 1700 on my item. Chilling. One, two. Alright, so that. I mean, they could both be hiding here, but unlikely. I guess they walk back up this way. What do you have on. Huh. You can check items and get an idea. Like if he had no gold spent or something, like he had no items, I could be like, oh, maybe he's uh Oh, you guys should be in mid though. There's like zero chance that that's unwarded. That's such a horrible idea, dude. <laughs> you can't just AFK in locations that you don't know if they're warded or not. Because if they are, boom, you're dead. <laughs> oh, man. Dragon's up right now. I want to shove this wave and move over there. Uh, I think we're getting rift. That's kind of cool. A little late. Oh, they all went over the thing. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, we have a. That's five people. Uh, no. Nah. No thanks. Hmm. Gotta be careful. I can't fight that many at once. I just have to keep them over here. There's four up here right now. Uh, he's just winning in top, and I can just keep cutting away. He's actually not a bad position. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Oh, he didn't get it! <laughs> he didn't get the extended jump, man. Poor guy. Oh, damn. Oh, if I W'd right there, it just came off. That could have been gorgeous. W into that third Q. Oh no, I probably died of the tower shot, but if I could have W'd into third Q right there, we might get spicy. We got an inhib top side. Might get another tower in mid. This is getting spicy. I'm 50 gold away from my item. We should have enough for it. I like it. Look at those moves. Yeah, my score doesn't look great, but I'm having fun. <laughs> this is spicy. You got 232 health on this thing now. Once I grab this, this is where we're going to start scaling up pretty hard. Because all the health that I've bought in previous is now going to turn into damage. That's really the the big change here. I do a teleport. I can go topside. That's right. We got stolen on the last one. Couldn't stay there. All right. Sweet. Item acquired. 3,000, almost 500 health. 3,439. The extra attack damage from this is 37. So it's giving us 67 damage by itself. Not bad. Then extra 56 on hit, and our Q obviously applies on hits as well. So our Q should be able to proc this then too, huh? That's what happened when I when I ulted him and he had the proc, right? Or no, the Q hit. That's what caused it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I was gonna say some life steal is gonna be pretty good. Luckily, the next item I think I'm getting is BT. Ooh, I'm with you. If we kill this guy, we can do. Uh... I mean, this is pretty fun. Oh, I thought I already had two. Oh, I suck. Hold up. Can we not do this? They're all super low. I think we could do it, honestly. I don't know if we have enough damage. I think we do. Might not be right to do that. <laughs> they're moving, but they're slow. I just TP'd in. Back, back, back. Oh my god, don't stand there, bro. You're crazy. Yeah, okay. You deserve to die with the way you play. Oh my goodness, man. In La La Land half the time. <laughs> you can't stand in these positions, bro. <laughs> it's not... You can't do it. You're not gonna get away with it. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, that's up in a minute. I go top and shove this in. Not bad. We got that tier 2 bot with the really uh, split. Looking good, man. Looking good. Got some lifesteal now. And we're gonna turn this into the BT, obviously. BT, mortal, IE. Huge. Alright, let's push. More levels. Oh my god, more levels, but does that equal more farm? It does not. Okay. Ooh, this could be good. He actually might pick that guy. Oh, oh yeah, 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 might pick him. I teleport. If he gets that kill, put this up. Oh, the whole squad's there. Uh, might be okay. No, I couldn't get that one. Oh, that's huge. I'm W for him. Eh. Uh, I might move here. Ooh. What do we have? One, two. I think I'm okay. Oh, wow. Alright, alright. Just you wait till I get some damage. I feel like I would have killed them three times over again if I had crit. <laughs> I'm too squishy. Or I'm not too squishy, I'm too uh... I don't have the damage yet. Once I get this shit, we need some crit to... Oh god. That works. Alright, I'm being too spicy. I gotta dial it back. Use brain. Nice. I'm just trying to fight everything because he's fun. <laughs> Dude, these, these, this is why I don't play these champions. This is why you see me. That's a lie. This is the exact reason why I spam Cassante, because it's so fucking fun, dude. I don't care if anybody likes watching it. I'll play a thousand games of Cassante. It's spicy, man. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm Cassante, but like less mobile, because you have restrictions on your E. Like Cassante, you can, you know, dash however you want. That's the cool thing. All right. Uh, let's not int anymore, though. That'd be that'd be smart. We did get the dragon there. That's good. That is good. No more int. No more int. So what would be an int right here is if I just kept mindlessly pushing. Because if you look on the mini map, this is one of those situations where I'll mindlessly push. And when I say I, I mean all of us do this probably. We'll just mindlessly push here, then the enemy comes and kills us with four people. And we're like, what the fuck is my team doing? But the entire time we saw that my team was not in position for me to be pushing this far. And now they are. We saw one up here top that got killed. We saw one up here mid, but he went MIA. So it could be back here. Now we see two mid, one died. So there could be two people here, but I'm fine with these two.
bro. I am playing out of my mind. Oh my god, dude. I don't even care. I dodged that shit too. Let's go. I don't even care if I die. That shit was sick. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was awesome. I'll take that. I got the Lux kill. Those W's are nice. I was just outside of the... Like, everything worked out perfect. I was just outside of the Echo uh, W when I was ulting. And, like, it took me to this side. Is it like a mouse thing? You can, you can pick the side that you go to, right? Doesn't it like always put you outside of tower range if it can too? Something like that. I'm not a Yasuo player. I don't know all these things. I need 100 gold though. I do have TP in 17. Damn, this really sucks. Uh... Oh! I mean... Yeah, this kind of just sucks. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to do. I think they're all supposed to probably back. They gotta have a ton of gold and this shit's coming up in 30 seconds. I'm probably just supposed to do this camp. Oh. Wow, now you're gonna be dead for Baron. How much total? 19. I have 4,000 health. I'm chunky. Uh, let's reset. Grab this. Get over for this. Dragon in a minute and 30 after. I mean, I could also go bot lane. Shove bot lane and use my teleport. That's also another opportunity. I might do that instead. We can path like this. Maybe even to mid and then go down here. That way, if I decide, by the time I get to mid, this is better. I can just walk there. And if not, down to the bot lane. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be a fight you have to take. Yeah, it should be good. The rest of them are here, though. Hey, if you move this way, you can kill them. Did you realize I have 4,000 health? <laughs> I can't get over this wall though, that's an issue, yeah. Uh, oh! Imagine! I can't see him though. Bruh. Hold up. <gasps> Sniped him! <laughs> Let's go, dude. This game is spicy. <laughs> 450 health on this thing, man. Oh. Well, I'm just tanking all of this stuff. <laughs> Don't kill me. Oh. Oh, that's how. I keep hitting him with the uh, Titanic proc. I was like, how am I pulling aggro constantly? I didn't even hit anybody yet. <laughs> the Titanic rock. Oop. Oh. Dodge that. Knock him up. Bada boom, bada bang. Get the cannon! Oh. I'll take it, man. I don't know if my score was great, but I had a blast. <laughs> that shit's fun, dude. I don't even think it was the fact that I, I wasn't tanky or I didn't have damage enough. I think it was fine. It was the, probably the fact that I had like a 1v3 going on that I, kept op, that I kept opting into. And if I just didn't opt into like 1v3s, I'd probably have plenty of damage. All right. Not bad, man. Everybody played really well. Good job, squad. Good job, squad. Nice, nice. Some decent damages. At over 4,000 health, man. This thing was over 400. Excuse me. 1,200 health off of like one item. Pretty crazy. Then just imagine how big the uh, shield could have been from the BT. BT shield with all this stuff and all the life still now. Pretty good. And then you just follow it up with like a, a regular build. So you still hit 60%. Well. 60% for IE. But then Yasuo passive doubles it. So you hit 100% plus IE plus your pen plus your life steal. So you still end up in a pretty cool build, but you'll be 4,500. I mean, by the time you get these last two items, you probably have 5,000 health. You'll be like a full regular Yasuo build, but with 5,000 health. That's pretty nuts.
Anyways, you do well, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.